Hello, my sweet friends, and welcome to my new channel, Enhance the Seasons with Karen. And if you've been a fan of the former channel, The Two Orchids, you know it's just me now. So that's why I rebranded and changed the name. Uh, Lauren is still one of my best friends and I'm gonna get to see her all the time. So I do promise you, you will get to see her. She will have some surprise visits. Um, so yes, I know she's looking forward to that as well. But I wanted to let you know what you can expect to see on Enhance the Seasons with Karen. I am still going to share with you all the things that I am passionate about, the things that I am loving, the things that all of you have loved throughout the last 10 years. And uh, I didn't want to change any of that. And uh, so you're going to be seeing, of course, my days in the life. I'm going to be sharing some morning routines, night routines. We're going to talk about seasonal decorating. But also, most importantly, we're going to talk about the seasons of life that we're all in. I am 59 years old. And uh, this is just to me, it's been the most magical season for me as being a grandma. We're empty nesters. We are grandparents to five grandbabies and soon to be two more. So our family is growing and uh, this is to me the prime of my life right now. And I'm really excited to be able to share all, uh, all those different seasons with all of you. Again, the season of life that you're in, but also the seasons of the year. We're gonna be seasonal cooking, seasonal decorating, seasonal day in the life, seasonal road trips, uh, anything that I can share with you that I think that you would all really love to tune into every week on my new channel. The past 10 years since I've been here on YouTube, uh, well, first and foremost, uh, I have to say the reason why I decided to rebrand and continue here on YouTube is because of this community right here. We have grown uh, to become such great friends. You have shared with me your ups and downs, your blessings, your health scares, health issues, and we have been here for one another. And I want you to have a place to tune in every week to know that you have a friend right here on YouTube. And uh, I wanna continue our community where we lift each other up and be here for one another. And uh, just again, have friends to have an excuse to make a cup of tea, cup of coffee, and spend some time together. I'm gonna to try to upload two videos a week. I know it's gonna be a lot of work for myself, so I'm gonna try. Uh, if it becomes to be too much, then I may go down to one video a week. So we will see, keep your fingers crossed. I am gonna change the upload dates to Sunday evenings and Thursday evenings to allow me a little bit more time in between for some editing and things like that. So please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and that you hit that notification bell so that you are notified each time I upload a video. I surely wouldn't want you to miss out on anything. I've been putting my heart and soul into this new channel, friends, and I have been working on so many different types of videos and things I wanna share with all of you for this new year. And uh, I'm, I am actually so excited about it. And I hope you are too. And let me know in the comment section if you're just as excited as I am. Um, this is, I, I don't know, I, I just, I'm sad that I'm not with my dear friend here on the camera, Lauren, but we sort of been doing our own videos the last year or so anyway. Uh, so, um, this is, doesn't seem to feel that weird to me. It's just that it's a new channel name and now it's just solely me. And hopefully that you all will continue to watch. So without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. It is such a dreary day here today. And when it's winter time and it's gray and it's dreary to me, it just calls for a fresh loaf of homemade bread. So we're gonna make some sourdough bread. This to me, I think is a fail proof recipe because you don't need a starter because I had no luck with starters. So all you need to do is just put some ingredients together. We're gonna let it rise for about two hours. We're gonna knead it a little bit more, let it rise for about 35 more minutes and then plop it into the oven. And all you need is some delicious butter just spread on it. It is so delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started and then we're gonna make a little hearty soup because Winter time again is just where I feel it's time to just cuddle and cozy into the winter season. 
and what better way than some comfort food. dough is ready to be covered. You want it to be shaggy, which means not smooth. We're going to go ahead and cover this for two hours. As the holiday season comes to an end, I can't help but feel excited about transforming our home into a cozy living space. And I plan on using some soft, earthy tones and I envision adding some fluffy throws and velvet pillows and warm candlelight that helps accent and invite us to sink into the coziness every time we walk inside our home. Now that all the Christmas decorations are put away, I've been gathering all of my throws and getting them into the washing machine, which I do wash mine all the time, but all the Christmas decor is down and I wanted to get these nice and fresh and smelling super soft and cozy because the winter season is where we all start to nestle in for these cold, dark, wintry next few months. So one of the things I really love using is, I know I shared this before, it's by Scentsy, and these are the washer whiffs, and this one is called Fluffy Fleece. It smells so good. And I don't know, I just like to do this with my throws and even my sheets, and all I do is just put a scoop of this into my washing machine, right into the drum. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. And when I cuddle up at night with my blanket by the fire, and Mark and I are watching some kind of a fun movie or sports or whatever it is, at least I know that my blankets smell so good, feel soft, and nice and cozy. But now I'm gonna talk about scent, winter scents, you know how much I love my flameless candles, but I have to admit, I do like the flickering of a real candle, mainly in the evening. And I like to put them either on my kitchen island or here on my coffee table. And I thought I'd share with you a few of my favorite winter scents. And one, I think I shared this last year, this one is called Burr. And oh my gosh, it to me, this is just, explain it almost feels like smells like a little bit of a manly winter but not like a, a deep spice or anything like that I'll list the notes here for you but this one is absolutely one of my favorite I've been repurchasing and this one is state of pine so any pine scented candle of course is gonna remind you of the winter season when you're nestling in and it smells like I'm walking outside in a pine forest. Not too strong, just the perfect amount. And then this one was a new one that I found this year. And every time I burn it, the whole first floor smells so good. And this one is called, I'm gonna need my glasses for this one. For some reason, I cannot remember it offhand. Oh. I forget winter woods and again I feel like you're walking outside with a little bit of um, let's see, oh, yeah, clean fresh clean pine as well but in a different scent than this one is both are just so clean smelling and but also with that cozy factor once the holiday season is over 
I do miss the glow of the Christmas lights. So I decided to add these twinkle lights here on my bookshelf. So when I'm in my kitchen and I'm walking around in the evenings, I still have that cozy glitter effect here uh, as I'm looking in this area of my home. And there's just something about the warmth of twinkle lights. It has been two hours. We're gonna go ahead and uncover our sourdough. And I don't know why, but mine really never doubles in size. So I don't know what I do wrong, but it just still tastes so good. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna knead it and fold it and fold it and fold it and fold it. We're gonna put it in a proofing basket, cover it again for 35 minutes. You can hear the oven on behind me. It's preheating, just about ready. I'm gonna go ahead, this has been 40 minutes actually. And I, you know, I'm not an artist, you guys, so I just like to do something fancy here on the dough. ahead and put this in my Dutch oven it's already in the hot oven with parchment paper you got to be really careful it's gonna be super hot so let me go ahead and get this ready while the sourdough bread was raising I went ahead and prepared for our next thing that we're gonna make and it is going to be a delicious yummy cozy hearty soup and this is with butternut squash and bacon and rosemary carrots and celery and onion and some wine and all kinds of yummy delicious herbs so i cut everything up and when i was just about done my elbow hit the bowl and it went flying all over the kitchen so i spent 30 minutes cleaning up the floor cleaning up all the mess and then having to recut new onion, celery, carrots, and thank goodness I had enough extra butternut squash. So now that that's all done and cleaned up, I have all this on the side because I'm gonna use the same Dutch oven that I have right now for the sourdough bread. And once that cools off, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and we're gonna get it ready to make the soup. And so it's almost three o'clock now. It's gonna take a few hours to cook. So I've got, um, it's gonna be a little bit late by the time we eat dinner. But that's okay because I've got some more things I want to share with all of you while it cooks. And uh, and then also let the bread cool off a little bit. And I can't wait to sample all this. I think you guys are going to absolutely love it. If you guys decide to make any of these recipes, let me know in the comment section what your thoughts were.
cruising down to Mexico I'm turning up the radio Cause I'm with you now You and me, we know that love is in the air Like the wind blowing through your hair summer to end Thinking about the good times that we had They will never come back again But I'm happy as Alrighty, can be. I just sliced the bread. Let's give it a try. That is some delicious homemade sourdough bread. While the soup is simmering, I've been enjoying this little corner of my family room. It has now become my favorite space in my home. I love to sip on my coffee in the morning or afternoon tea, reading or writing in my journal and enjoying some quiet time. And now I'm thinking, come what may Don't care about what others say When I'm with you now Do you have a special cozy nook in your home where you spend quiet time reading or journaling? Let me know. That I'm with you now Remember when my world was falling apart Friends, I hope that you will join me on my next video. We're going to be spending some girlfriend time as I transition my home from Christmas to winter decor. I'm going to be sharing my tips on how to make your home cozy throughout the winter season and so much more. Close your eyes. I'm so excited to try this soup. Let me tell you, the house smells really good right now and it feels so comfy and cozy. I wanna make sure that I get a little bit of everything in here. Some noodles, white beans, and some of the butternut squash. Oh my. And with a little bit of the crumpled rosemary bacon, oh my gosh, it just takes it up another notch. Friends, this has to be my favorite soup I think I've ever made. It is that good. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna continue eating, but I do wanna tell you, it does call to add some kale. Mark doesn't like kale, 
so I opt not to put it in. Though I did buy some kale, but I'll go ahead and use it for a salad or something like that for myself. So I'm gonna go enjoy my soup and my delicious sourdough bread. But I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching me on my first video, Enhance the Seasons with Karen. The success of this channel, well, you guys, pretty much it's gonna be hopefully all on all the followers and subscribers that continue to hang out with me every week. I can't tell you how much this means to me. I I love doing what I do and I really love sharing special times with all of you and recipes and decorating and just day in a life and those kind of fun things with all of you and just spending some girlfriend time. So thank you so much for just hanging out with me today. I love you so much friends and we'll see you next time. Bye.